<coughs> Hello Collegian viewers and readers. Uh, once again another preview video uh, in a much nicer setting than we're usually in. We'll <laughs> yep. take it uh, in one of the nice rooms here in the, in the uh, Student Union. Shane to talk about the uh, Dakota Marker game, SDSU, NDSU, a big game for SDSU to kind of save their season, some salvage something. And NDSU needs it. They're 6-0, and uh, top five team in the country. Um, well, I mean, what are your thoughts, kind of? The Bison are a good team, but what about the Jacks right now? What I mean, what do they pull out of this? You know, I think uh, I think we showed, or I, I think uh, the game last week showed that, um, you know, the Jacks can hang a little bit with, with these upper-tier teams, you know. I mean, uh, they they played well against you and I for, mm, you know, you could you – could, if you added it all together, a good half, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, uh, the Jacks could surprise some people, possibly, if they come out and play very well. But at the same time, NDSU is rolling right now. They're uh, a great team led by Jensen, Brock Jensen, their quarterback. Uh, he has nine touchdowns and only one pick and over 1,000 yards already this year. Their offense is very good. Their defense may be even better. Uh, their defense uh, only allowing um, like 11 points a game some yep. this year, and they're like, top five in the country in scoring defense. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what plays down at Coughlin. Yeah, I, I think you kind of hit it that last week the Jacks were in that game in the first half, had the lead 7 nothing, a chance to go up 14 nothing, I think, and turned it over and then it, you and I got going. Um, and they are going to need a similar start, except they need to be more disciplined. This is a team that has committed too many turnovers so far this year. Not to mention they turn the ball over too much. And penalties, too. They've penalties, yeah. The penalties, penalties have too, been the big so. issue. Um, I might have said turnovers twice there. Did I? Ah, uh, who cares? Anyway, <laughs> the, for the Jacks, I think the key kind of rests in the running game. they got to get something going. And Zach Zenner, Tyrell Cool, since week one have been pretty non-existent. Uh, and they need to generate some sort of help for Austin Sumner, who has been nothing short of good or great right now for this team. Yeah, he's throwing the interceptions, but his predecessor threw the interceptions, and I guarantee you if they put anybody else in there, he'd probably be throwing some interceptions too. <laughs> so this is a, a huge game for the Jacks at 2-5. and five. They, need to f they need this win. I mean, they, they can't really be picky right now. NDSU needs a game. I get the sense that NDSU right now wants it more. Do you kind of get that feeling? Yeah, you know, it's – I don't – I really, I, I really can't gauge the situation. I, NDSU, I guarantee uh, Coach Bowl will have them uh, ready to come play in Brookings. But at the same time, you know, the game is in Brookings. Um, there's going to be a lot of alumni back uh, for the Coughlin alumni 50-year uh, year team. Yeah. Um, so, you know, maybe the Jacks get a boost because it's the Dakota marker game. Uh, you know, the, this is supposed to, be, supposed to be the big rivalry. Um, and, you know, NDSU has won in – uh, Brookings, and for so it's 1999. Yep. So so you know it's rivalry games. They say are always you know you never can pick a winner um, based on on what you see on paper. Uh, so you know we'll see what happens on Saturday. Craig Bowl had a great quote earlier this week about this game that usually at the end of the game they're not shaking hands. The teams are running to get that rock, and we will see who gets that rock Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, in what will probably be an exciting game regardless of the result. And you know where to find us. We'll be covering it from start to finish and even afterwards uh, with some commentary similar to this and uh, some, some stories. We've got a lot planned for that uh, between the 50 years and the Dakota Marker game. That should be fun. So mm -hmm. uh, for Marcus and for Shane, we're glad you could join us and we hope to see you Saturday. Thanks.